So I'm going to adjust this tray so that it's at a good height. Maybe this one's not plugged in. If it's not plugged in, that helps. Okay, so I'm going to let it go for about 15, 20 seconds, this initial cure, okay? I put it on four minutes. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to readapt the palatal area and you'll be able to see this on the demo when I upload it but I'm just going to push into the palate and do it again. This is really more important when you're doing a record base which we're going to talk about in a couple of weeks because the record bases are what are going to help hold all of the wax and the teeth that you're trying into your patient's mouth. Do another 15 seconds and adapt the palate. You're just doing it on that palate area. Mm -hmm. Just on the palate area. Check your tray handles because I have seen if it gets if it gets warmer faster than it cures sometimes the handle will droop and then you have to come back and trim it away. So just check that your tray handle is still in a good position. It depends on gravity and which way you've got it. Um, but sometimes it'll go in an unfavorable position. So I check that but usually I don't have to mess with it. So I'm actually going to not let this cure all the way um, just for sake of time but I'm going to let it cure for about 30 more seconds and then I'm going to show you how to peel the inside of it out okay I'll do it at the desk so you can see it on the screens too okay. so if we've eliminated our undercuts this should pull off of here pretty pretty easily it's still going to be nice and snug if you remove it while it's still warm, it's easier because the wax is warm, right? It just came out of that carrying unit. If you wait until the wax cools, it's a lot harder to get this off. Okay, but so you see how everything came out inside the tray? Now while the wax is still warm, I can just tug on this tin foil and pull it out of here. And when you don't have warm wax and you don't have tin foil, this wax will just stick to the inside of this tray and it's a nightmare. It is not fun. Okay, so now it just kind of peels out of there and the cleanup is so much easier. And it didn't let it cure all the way so you're gonna see little cracks in it here but what you wanna see is that delineation of the, the palatal stop and you wanna see where your wax edge is and I'll let you all pass this around here in a little bit. Now that the wax is gone, I can put this back on the cast. And what I should find is that when I hold here, that the tray is stable, okay? It's not rocking around and moving everywhere. It's a very stable tray. There's minimal space in between the tray material and the soft tissue. Should be about two to three millimeters because that's the layer of the wax that I did. You're gonna have more than that around the teeth because we did a second layer, okay? So this one is ready for trimming. Do you all want me to do the mandible or does this make enough sense? You're good? I'm happy to do the mandible. 